Hey, let's talk some football. How many mock drafts can we do? Uh, how many can you look at? How many conversations can we have about Cam Newton, Blaine Gabbert, and the QBs coming out this draft, or about the CBA negotiations, or lack thereof, or the lockout? Getting old. Let's talk some football. All right. Uh, we're going to talk about a run package against a lot of the different coverages. Talked about pass progressions the last time. Uh, football fan, he, he brought up some run game. Uh, love it. Uh, loves to run the football. So we're going to have a little run package here. Simple run package. Take you through the mechanics of the quarterback, what he's thinking, what he's looking at, and how we get to a pass and what, what the defense can do to, to force you out of some of the runs. Uh, the run package we're going to use is an inside zone weak, an inside zone strong, or a power play to the strong side. Those are our three runs. That's it. That's what we're going to call. We're getting in a two by two. That's I call that double right. And it's important for the F when we do the run package, get a good split. We want to pull this wheel out when they're in a zone. When they get six in the box, we want to widen him out and the F has to block him. But we want to pull him away from the runs uh, because that's the look you want to run the ball against. Middle field open, six in the box, ideal for running the football. And defenses know that. They know offenses want to run the football against that look. So what they'll do is they'll have this guy right here. He'll be yo-yoing in and out, make it look like seven in the box, try and mess with the quarterback. Sometimes a safety, he'll get up there, he'll get back, he'll, he'll be yo-yoing up and down, uh, try and mess with the quarterback as well. Because they know, again, six in the box, offenses like to run the football. So we're going to start with a weak side zone in the way a quarterback or way it comes in over the headset. And the way I call weak side zone is blunt. It's called the blunt, blunt play. Now we have numbers for it. Everybody has numbers that are different. But we'll say blunt run package. He gets that. We get up, double right, give him that. So the weak side run is what he's going to look at first because we said blunt. And there's the route that the back takes. It's zone blocking. The rule for the weak side zone for the quarterback is if the center's covered and there's three guys in the box weak, center plus three, we cannot run the inside zone play. We also don't like to run the inside zone play against a three technique. Okay, so we don't have a three. Well, the center's covered, but there's only two guys in the box over here. So we have an ideal situation to run it. So he's going to get up there and go ahead and run this play. We don't have to check to anything else because we called blunt first. So that, that's his first look. That's what they're thinking, the line, the tight end. Everybody's thinking blunt. So that'd be a situation where we run the blunt because we got the good look. And we run the zone. Guard, center, they're working up to the mic. Tackle guard, pushing him, working to the Sam. And the tight end's got the tough block, especially if he's in a seven technique, which is on the inside of the tight end right there. When the, if, if the halfback has to cut back, that guy's got to be able to make that block. So that's your inside zone week. Quarterback could get up there, call his cadence, and we'd go because the, the look is good. F has to be in a position, to be, or the will has to be in a position for the F to block him and we can do it. Okay, if we don't like that, what would get us out of that? Well, if that will, if we got the over front and the will, say he was kind of uh, stacked in there or he, he wasn't quite walked out, he was in there, he might be on the line, not just not a favorable position for the F to get him, now we would want to run away from that. We don't want to run the zone right here because if he happened to come in here, he'd hit us right in the mouth. So we want to run strong side. And our strong side rule from day one, the quarterback knows, is we want to run power against a three technique. We want to run the inside zone strong against a guard bubble. Well, we got a three technique here, so we're going to run power. So now the quarterback would check to the power play, however they do that, whether it's colors, words, whatever code words they have, we'd run the power play right here. get the wheel backward and the reason we did it because he's kind of in between right there not a good look to run at it so we run away from it so now we're going to run the power uh, center blocks back here these guys are going to double back to the mic tight end's got that block guard's going to pull around he's got the sandbacker drop step and then we run power right there so a good look for the power and if this guy had to delay and then maybe come he's not going to catch it the problem we would have, if he got on the very end of the line of scrimmage like he was going to come, 
now we would have consider that a seven in the box and we would have too many in there in the quarterback would go to a pass game but that's how he would get from blunt run package running the inside zone weak to a power play strong is a three three technique strong and indecisive about the will that he might be hit it in the mouth what would get us to the inside strong zone well that'd be an under front okay so now you got a three technique remember we said we didn't like to run the zone play we didn't like to run the zone play into a three technique okay so plus you got a center and that guy stacks so a one two three weak so it's not a good play for us uh, to run the inside zone weak we said we like power against a three technique well there is no three technique it's a guard bubble well there is your answer guard bubble now we run the inside zone strong side okay he's here he's here now we're working up doubling up to him here here f cuts him off right there now we got our guard bubble and we like running so those are the three situations where you would like to run weak side zone strong side inside zone or the power against that six in the box and again if you get seven in the box they got one more than you can block you'd like to get out of it and what you would go to is a pass because if you got seven in the box they got four that can cover one guy's got to come down if the free safety's down he's going back to the middle you, one quick game that you would have is a slant by the outside guys with flats by the inside guys great combination against middle field close whether it's man and zone and then you might have one another route that's a vertical route in case you get man coverage you want to take a shot downfield get the ball down the field a little bit you would have that so you got your quick pass game a vertical pass game to go with your three plays uh, in the run package and again it would be seven in the box throw it you got middle field close zone or man you got six in the box run it with the run package and you know weak strong power those are your five plays now another play you can tie in which i like and it goes with the weak side run is a play action and i'll draw that up uh, we'll get a little over front here because we want it to look like our weak side inside zone Okay, that's the look we said we like to run the inside zone so if we're running this and we're having success uh, and you're running that inside zone weak well that free safety could start creeping up there a little bit coming in hitting it as soon as you look at that he's going to come up because the x is responsible to block he pushes up and if he can go in and get that guy he can but that's a hard block if he reads it quick so you tie in a play action or a run action to go with this and you'll have a code word for it and that right there it looks like he's here low hats low shoulders low hats by the line he's here they're doubling again here with their eyeball in the sand backer he's blocking here and the tackle he's going to give good hand presence right there but then he's going to come back and help because that's the toughest block that tight end you know on that end right there quarterback's going to fake and roll back right behind the center you see a lot of teams do this they, they run this play action uh, it's become pretty popular throughout the league deep post i call that a trail route now blocking responsibilities the line and tight end have those six the halfback has the will so he's checking the will if the will happened to come the back would would block him he's going to fake and he has a block and he has assignment the will if the wheel doesn't come then he's in the flat so that's the combination right there you got a deep post a trail route and a flat against this quarters you've been running the ball now you come up whatever code word again you call this and I love this against quarters if the corner chases in the safety and they double there this F is one-on-one -on -one with the wheel backer and if the wheel just kind of drops here and drops them when he turns up you got a big play on the trail route because those two are run, are run out. If the wheel chases and plays and matches up and goes man and, and goes up the field with him, 
the back in the flat memory he has flat responsibility so if he chases and got there's nobody in the flat and in this you see that a lot throughout the league they'll run vertical routes everybody runs off with this play action they'll just dump the ball out here in the flat and get a big play because nobody's out there covering because the mic he's gonna bite on here and then his responsibility in this coverage is going to be uh, the hook, the strong side hook right there. So if the corner falls off, say he drops and he starts and he wheels back because he sees that and the wheel holds and he takes the back. So that's covered and that's covered. Now you got a free safety trying to cover a receiver. Anytime you get a receiver up on a safety, you want to throw the ball. You're going to outrun that, that receiver, that safety right there, that receiver. So you, that's when you put up that one right there. And backside, you're going to get the receiver to hold the strong safety. He's going to run, stem it inside, push up, run a deep in, and that's going to hold that strong safety uh, right there from going back over the top. So now you get your big deep post throw off this play action. So you tie that in with your run package when you're especially, they're giving you this kind of look, uh, six in the box, and you're running the ball. Because what they'll try and do is they'll run games inside too to try and stop this run game with six in the box. So you call this, that safety starts getting uh, antsy up there, sniffing up inside. You can get one up over the top uh, as one of your deep throws. And really, you can have your quick game. This is good against man coverage as well. You can run this. If you get seven in the box, whether it's cover three or, or man coverage, you can run this as well. So now you can have your quick game, which is uh, slants and flats, and then tie this run action right here into it and just have five plays. If you want to try and get a vertical other ways dropping back, you can have six plays to go with this run package. But that's it. Five pat, uh, five plays right there. Three runs. And then you got your play, or run action right here. And you got your quick game right here. And you, you could go up and down and run this. Uh, you could probably get a whole quarter out of it. And whatever they give you, you counter it. Uh, whether it's run strong, run weak, zone, power, uh, play action, or quick game. Um, and then if the quarterback sees some, he can always signal to one receiver to change his route. Uh, a slant and go if they're trying to jump it, something like that. So uh, you don't need a lot. Uh, it makes it simple for the quarterback, and, and you teach it the same way from day one. It doesn't change. That's your package. Now you can come up with some other packages in and, and the run game, tie in maybe some other play action or run action type passes uh, and so forth. But that's just a real simple, easy package that the quarterback can handle at the line of scrimmage uh, to combat whatever the defense wants to do. All right, the other thing I wanted to get accomplished today was uh, Clem wanted to know what a juke route was, so I'm going to show him what a juke route is and, and the rest of you, and you'll, you'll hear uh, John Gruden talk about a jerk route. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to get a receiver or an agile uh, tight end one-on-one -on, -one on a linebacker inside. And teams that play, say they play, uh, again, quarters. And, you know, teams play a matchup quarters right there. What you want to do is try and run people out. Uh, and a lot of times you can get in a gun and do this, and it helps, because if you're in the gun, you can offset the halfback. But you'll send him on that deep post. You'll send the halfback on a wheel route, because the, the wheel is going to chase him and run out. That's going to take the safety in the corner. You're going to run him on a deep post, takes the corner and the safety, put your Y on a wheel route, that Sam back. So now that guy right there is one on one in the middle of the field. Everybody else has run out and you got a receiver or you're tied in. He comes in here, he's going to hook, he's going to drop and when he hooks, he's going to attack it. And you start out this way, and he's going to attack it. And then you come back underneath, and you run away from him right there. You make the guy look like a jerk. That's where the jerk route came from. And you'll hear, again, John Gruden talks about it. It's a West Coast uh, term, the jerk route. And, uh, and I came up with the juke route, and it was kind of, uh, it was Lee Evans, and we were playing uh, Miami, and I, call, I actually called a, a jerk route, and he was inside, and he came in, stopped, started this way, came back like he should, and got cut off. Somebody was sitting there and cut him off, so he stopped and came back out that way. Uh, protection held up. We threw him the ball, and he turned it up and got a big play for us, 25, 30 yards like that. So I said, well, heck, that's not a bad deal. So we'll call it a juke route. So the jerk 